I'm Gail Perry with CPA Practice Advisor, and I'm here with Stan Mark, president of the Information Technology Alliance, and we're here at the Spring Conference of ITA. Um, Stan, can you tell me a little bit about ITA and this event? Sure. You know, the ITA has two, two events a year, spring and fall event, and our constituency really consists of three different groups. You know, we have the, the internal IT people from the largest CPA firms in the, in the country, so, and, and they are, they're with us, and then we have about 100 uh, consulting firms that are providing ERP solutions and various other kinds of solutions that also make our part of this event, and then thirdly, we have a large vendor community of people who are providing, uh, are providing services to both of those groups that are here. Um, the thing we're kind of excited about this event is our events get larger and larger, it seems, every time. We've got record numbers at our spring event, about 290 attendees. Uh -huh. um, and, and I think that says a couple of things. One is that hopefully we're doing the right thing. But secondly, I think people still like to come together. Even though we're in a, a much more of a digital social media world, our whole thing at the ITA is collaboration, people sharing best practices. And so I, I think the, the fact that we're seeing record numbers at, a, at an event like this really is telling us that people still want to meet and come to a location and actually spend time together. And, you know, and that's what we're looking forward to over the next two and a half days is that collaboration that we provide as part of the ITA. So who comes to this event? Typically it's the owner of a consulting firm. So, you know, and that could be a small to mid-sized firm. You know, many of the firms that are in the uh, VAR 100 list or Bob Scott's top 100 list are, are members of our organization. So typically the owners of those organizations. And then the CIOs, the chief information officers of the CPA firms and, and their key staff people. So the head of their IT, uh, uh, IT infrastructure, those kinds of things. And so that's really the, the two main concerns the two main groups that are here and, and so what we're trying to really focus on is not as much of the technical stuff but more on the business you know so our CIOs who are part of what we call our internal technology leaders group they you know they're not here to probably talk about you know what are they going to do for, with servers next week at their CPA firm but more how do we get to the table with management how do we become better business people in providing technology to support that CPA firm and so we try to mix both technical and management skills when we're getting everybody together. And the consultants who come here, these are consultants who serve the accounting profession? No, they're well. pretty much, they're, they're, they're consultants who, some, some of them are part of accounting firms. I was a partner in the IT consulting practice at McGladry for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So, for example, McGladry's a member. But it's, it's our consulting firms that are actually providing middle market solutions to business. Okay. So they're, they're client service groups. And so I would guess within our membership, a third of them are part of CPA firms. And the other two-thirds are independent VARs of products. Many of them, though, came out of the CPA industry. They, in fact, some of them were part of CPA firms, and then they became their own individual groups. So it's, it's a lot of CPAs, but not necessarily people who are always serving the CPA market. Okay. So what happens at the ITA conference? Well, at an ITA conference, um, uh, you know, they, we, we kind of we follow a similar format, but we try to put together multiple tracks of, I'm going to call it education, but, but of panels and groups. Our, our ITA members like to hear from other ITA members. So even though we do have outside people come in and, to, and share their expertise, one of the things that our IT, I, I think our ITA folks really like is to hear what three other ITA members are doing in the area of you know, moving to the cloud, whatever, whatever the topic is. So the way we put our conferences together, I form a conference planning committee of our members, and we start four months ahead of time and say, what are the topics for this meeting that you think are really important to your business? So we're really trying to make sure we're driving content to the, that makes sense. And, and so then we put together a, a, a group of sessions you know, over the next two and a half days. There's probably there's five tracks going on uh, and probably eight, eight to ten sessions per track. So about 40 or 50 different things that people can come to. Uh, they don't have to pre-register. They can go to whatever they want to go to. And so whatever, whatever seems to make sense to them or what, what's resonating to them as a member, something, hey, I'd really like to learn about this. That's kind of what happens. And then, of course, in the evenings, we have a lot of networking events where we, you know, tonight, Sunday night, we're going to have a, a vendor reception where our vendor partners will get a chance to really meet with people. Tomorrow 
night, we'll also do the same kind of a thing with a full dinner. And I think you know, some people probably get more out of outside of the sessions. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen many business partnerships that have been made over the years over a cup of coffee out in the hallway where two people come together and say, hey, I'm doing this, and they find there's some kind of a, a connection, and they come together and begin to offer something to, new to their clients.